Welcome back everybody. It's time to build a tunnel. Welcome back guys, how are you guys doing? There's a lot of netherrack to go around, oh man. And we're gonna need to gather some more red terracotta. 
for sure to finish that project off. But I'm gonna have to take a little break of that, um, doing that for now, just because I'm a little burnt out. We're gonna have to revisit this project in another day. We got a lot of it done. The whole thing is dug out now. Well, minus like the walls and stuff. We haven't finished that yet. Um, we need to get a bunch of terracotta so we can fill up that middle bit. Shouldn't be so difficult. Just will take some time. And yeah, I'm pretty happy with it though. It's a pretty good transfer from here to there. Um, yeah, it's just straightforward. It's gonna take a while to finish, so it'll probably, we'll just probably do a little bit of this in each episode. But before we do anything else, guys, we gotta repair this pick. I do not want to, to lose my pick, <laughs> or anything really for that matter. And even before we do that, we've got a pair of diamond leggings to enchant. So, unless this is looting three, nope, I'm breaking, I'm breaking, and fortune. Fortune is good, but I'm have to say the leggings are the priority at the moment. Just get them unbreaking. Unbreaking fire protection. We don't actually care about the fire protection. We have protection four up here, so when this gets low, we just repair it with this, and it will add unbreaking onto it. So that is perfectly fine by me. We'll just keep these in here until we need to repair. And do we have diamonds over here? No, we should bring we should put some diamonds over here. It would be more convenient than having to run all the way over here. Yeah, to be honest guys, we are already kind of hitting that scale where like this starter base is <laughs> starting to not function so well because we're just getting so much stuff and we're constantly having to to um re-run around and check for new places so coming up pretty soon guys we're gonna have to find a find and or make a, a new base because this one is getting pretty out of date brand new pickaxe oh snap well, actually let's check what these sharpness three eh Fire protection three, eh. Both of those are pretty bad. Might enchant some extra pickaxes or something next time, just so we can refresh that. But yeah, there is still a lot of projects that we can do. I'm probably just gonna collect some wood while I talk to you guys for a bit. There's still a lot of projects that we can do. Um, I'm very keen on finishing that nether fortress, or the nether, nether fortress, oh my gosh that nether walkway as soon as possible just so we can start using a lot more terracotta in our builds. We can still kind of make it all the way there without too much danger as is, but I would prefer to like flesh out the the walkway, if nothing else the walkway and like some arms on it or something like that. Um, but yeah, so the plan is for the walkway to not really be walked on as much as like minecart. I was thinking we could do minecart trail through there. So we're gonna have to make sure that no pigmen can spawn or else we're gonna have a little bit of an issue. A little bit of an issue. Oh my goodness, this axe is amazing. It's making the tree chopping process so much smoother. And I'm just gonna have to dig up into the wood a little bit more here so I can get these other logs, but yeah. So I'm really keen to finish that tunnel up soon, but there's a lot of other things we gotta be doing in the background. So specifically, I'm thinking we need a bunch of sand, we need a bunch of glass. Now we already have a lot of glass, as I'm sure you guys saw. We're running out of places to put the glass, but when we start making the mega dome, we are gonna be using a crap load. Of, gra of glass and so yeah we're gonna need to stock up pretty hardcore the other thing that we need to decide is are we gonna do white stained glass for the megadome 
because that might be a bit of an issue, <laughs> collecting enough bones for that. I gotta, I gotta say it, we had trouble just collecting enough um, bone meal for just for these, so we might even have to make like a bit of a mob system or something, and if we are gonna do um, white stained glass for the big, uh, the big huge megadome, um, it's something to think about. I think the megadome is still probably a little ways away, just because I would like to get like a respiration helmet before really attempting that. Otherwise, we're just gonna be bobbing up and down to the surface like a thousand times a second. That's gonna be kind of annoying. So it would probably be best if to like hold off on that project until we've gotten ourselves a Respiration 3 helmet. But, that being said, um, it doesn't mean that we should just not think about it. We still need to kind of plan stuff out for it. And it looks like there's a piece of wood up there that I missed. But yeah, we are getting a lot of stuff done in this world lately. Um, we need to get access to the Mesa which we've been working on. We technically have access to it already, so that opens up a lot of other pro potential projects that we could do. Think anything that involves hardened clay or most builds structures that, that don't require wood. I mean, we're getting wood in the process of wood, but until we get a wood farm or some kind, like a tree farm, which is basically just a spot that we can that we call a tree farm. It's not super specific, right? Until we get that, we're just kind of mining trees on this little section right here, which is not the most efficient way to do it. That's that's the easy way to put it. So I would like to kind of flesh out the tree farm idea at some point, but I'm still not sure where to put it. Is the the main thing. I guess we could always just kind of create a spot for it. It's hard when you're in the water because you either gotta do something kind of creative and like build some sort of station inside the water or you've got to build up above the water and then making it look good is a bit of a process but yeah that might be the best way to go about it just kind of build something on the water initially while we get the wood. Then once we, we have the farm up and running, that's when we can plan out how it's going to look good. Um, might actually do something like that. So we've got a lot of stone. A lot, a lot, a lot of stone. That we've really got no place for. We are just overflowing in like every chest with stone. And the nether road is great because it lets us use a bunch of that. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that scared me. The nether road's great because it lets us use a bunch of that. If we had more projects like that that we can just kind of dump stone into, that would probably help a lot with getting our storage down to like reasonable levels. So one potential idea that I had is just kind of build like a bit of a fake island, and we can. I don't know, do whatever we want with that. Maybe put a tree farm there. Maybe build, just build like a house or something. I don't know. We could do whatever we want, really. And like, that's the, the nice thing about not really having a, a ton of plans is you can just kind of do what you want to do. The bad part about not having a plan is you get moments like this where I'm just kind of waiting around for something to, to pop into my mind. I'm sorry, this is probably really boring. Um, yeah, I can't think of much to do, so I'm going to just cut for a sec. Be right back. Alright guys, I got an idea. I got a plan. We're going to try to use up as much of the stone as we can. So, you might be wondering, what's the plan? What could it be? Well... I'll tell you. <laughs> We're gonna try to convert this little hill thing into like a proper volcano mountain type thing. And we're also gonna be increasing the size of the island substantially. So yeah, 
let's see how this goes. The idea for this is give this place a little bit of interest, right? Okay, we're gonna actually gonna have to sleep real fast. Because bad guys are around. We don't... Ah, oh, dang it. This is why it's good to have a house. <laughs> Man. Okay. It's okay, that's why we built the biodome. Safety. Luxury. Resort. So, an idea that I had is the biodome. If you look at it kind of from far, it almost looks like some sort of like research center. So, had kind of a a little in a bit of an idea and I was wondering what your guys' take was that we kind of build up a bit of a like a volcano sort of next to this up up on this island this mass right here this land mass right here and that'll kind of look like a sort of um, volcano that the research center is trying to study so let's see we just need to pile this up a bit with all of our stone I have no idea how this is going to work. I'm just kind of going with the flow here. But hopefully it works out pretty good. So the idea is going to be essentially just to create a steep mountainous shape with the stone that we have. And that'll be hopefully make this this island stand out more, but also provide something for us to use all this stone on until we come up with like a better idea <laughs> essentially <laughs> so we're basically just trying to get rid of stone and make something decent in the process that's the the, the general gist of it um and we've got a lot of stone oh man so we want to can we want to kind of mix between cobble and smooth stone so that we can get some variation. I think stone variation always just looks better than a single kind of, of one. So we're just going to kind of fill in some spots. Not with logs. <laughs> it would be fun to do like um, a log mountain, but that wouldn't make a lot of sense. Another thing that we gotta do, kind of cover up this. It's just a little bit of a blemish, to be entirely honest. And we'll just kind of cover it up, hide it, pretend like it's not there, as you do with normal blemishes, I guess. Um, except you can't really. No, 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 no. Hey, well, guess what? Because we armored the island, he didn't actually do very much damage. <laughs> Alright, so let's cut for a second, and I'll get back to you once the island has been converted. What's up, guys? Thought I'd bring you in for a little bit of a progress update. And it's actually going a lot better than I was expecting it to have. Um, it just kind of looks like a volcano. Like, you can just kind of spray stone around a mountain, apparently. With, like, cobblestone. I, the cobblestone is a huge part of that, I'm sure. But, and it just looks like a volcano. Like, some angles are a little weird. Like, I was seeing... I was just checking from down there, and like this one's a little flat, but like in general, you can just. Okay, we'll have to take a step back. <laughs> Don't take my word for it. Here. We'll shave a couple of this bits off right here, because I think that'll help make it look a bit better. Um, nope, Poppy, get out of there. Poppy Harlow. Okay. And, yeah. It looks like a volcano. <laughs> it's kind of amazing how well that worked. All Literally, like, all you have to do is throw stone and cobblestone in front of the blocks and make a little bit of an exaggerated peak at the top. And it works. Like, 
legitimate volcano appearance achieved. So I think that's actually going to be pretty good. It'll look a lot better than the just sort of random unused m space that we've got now. I think at least. You guys will have to let me know if you disagree in the comments. Um, we're going to have to build this up a little bit. So let's go around here and just kind of layer in some more crap. And yeah, I'm really digging it so far. It's perfect because it, it accomplishes two things for us. Uses our stone, makes our island look a little bit more like a purpose. Or l gives our island a bit more of a purpose, I should say. Also, the um, key thing to note with this strategy is that it only really works if you have a combination of cobble and smooth stone. Because if you just layer on one too thick than the other, it looks kind of weird. It just looks like a giant mountain of rock. But like not in a good way, just like a very stale, boring way. It's okay to put a lot of the same type of stuff down nearby each other, but it really just won't look like the refined volcano look unless you do it with both of them. And honestly, it doesn't even matter that much. Like the, the what you put down, it just like needs to be random. <laughs> That's the big thing. Cause if you have a bunch of stone, then it just looks like a mountain that has a smooth part in particular. If you've got a bunch of cobble, it just looks like a bunch of landslide material or something like that. <clears throat> so it kind of is pretty hard to mess up. And the best part about it is it uses all your extra stone. So if you've got a world and you don't know what to do with it, and you've got a lot of stone, Maybe, maybe this is for you. But yeah, anyways guys, I'm gonna finish this up real quick and then I'll be right back. That out guys, didn't take that long and we've already put together some pretty decent looking volcanoes. Um, I have not finished all the sides yet, but I thought it would be good to get a couple of, of viewpoints of it. So let's try to move away a little bit. And I can already tell that that shape needs to be refined a little bit, for sure. Let's get a couple of different views at it. Oh, the back. Yeah, I haven't, haven't done a lot of the back yet. So that's going to need a lot of work, for sure. But you can even see just re purely replacing the outer edge with the rock already looks decent on its own. Like, yeah, I think if we refine that shape a bit, kind of make give it a little bit more of a natural volcano kind of feel to it. Oh my goodness, these turtles, they love the boat. Let's take the boat out. <laughs> the turtles will always get stuck in the boats. And take a look at this thing. So yeah, that is pretty darn good. I like that a lot more than the random hill that we had before. We're going to need to peek it up a bit, um, kind of do the edges as well. And I think that that'll give us an excuse to build a lot more stone landmass kind of around it. It's like the, you know, the extension of the island, and then that'll be where we can make some serious tree farms and stuff. So yeah, I think we're going to continue this. Um, probably do, you know... a a bit more work in the actual detailing rather than just covering it. But the first step is just cover it, then the second step is try to make it look like a real volcano. So yeah, I think that's going to work, guys. Anyways, that'll probably have to do it for today. So we'll get back to this tomorrow, and we'll be working on that nether road, as well as probably a different project. It's good to kind of spice things up a little bit. So. I'll see you guys in the next one.